Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on a lab. Uh, and this lab, what we are going to do is we are going to do a DSCP configuration for multiple VLANs. And we are going to configure the router as the DSCP server. So for this, what we'll do is uh, we'll quickly take the routers. I'll just take one router from here. Okay. And particularly this router will going to configure as the DSCP server. Okay. And uh, we'll take a switch also. A 2960 switch. And uh, multiple VLAN. So I'll take multiple uh, devices multiple PCs I'll take PC 0, PC 1 and PC 2. So I'll quickly connect those devices. Connecting router and switch and switch with the end devices. So these are the down ports of the switch and the port which is getting connected from switch to the router from the point of view of the switch it is the uplink. So this is the uplink for the switch and these are all the downlinks for the switch. Fine. Now uh, what we'll go what we'll do is we'll go configure three VLANs on the, on the switch and uh, we'll make uh, the ports like uh, we we'll configure three VLAN. So we'll make this as a member of VLAN 10, this PC. Uh, this PC as member of VLAN 20. And uh, this PC as VLAN 30. So these are the port numbers. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 for VLAN 10. For uh, Fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 in VLAN 20. And Fast Ethernet 0 slash 4 in VLAN 30. Now let's take the axis of the switch so here is a switch fine so let's create the VLANs before that let's check the VLANs it's all the default VLANs so we create a VLAN L2 VLAN VLAN 10 and just give the name as data 1 we'll create another VLAN say VLAN 20 name data 2 and VLAN 30 name data 3 okay so we have created the VLANs now what we'll do is uh, I just noted down over here that we have created three VLANs so VLAN 10 and uh, will make uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 2 as the member of that VLAN and will give the subnet as 10.0.0.0 slash 24 gateway as 10.0.0.1 okay I'll then VLAN 20 fast ethernet of this switch will be 0 slash 3 and the subnet which will be we'll be using for this is 20 is 24 and the gateway is 20.0.0.1 just for simplicity i'm taking this numbers this will be fast ethernet 4 fine and the subnet we'll be using was 30 network we'll use slash 24 30.0.0.1 we will use it as a gateway of that now let's go back to our switch so the interface was interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and uh, we'll make this port as no shut uh, switch port mode access so once I make this port access okay so it through this port only one VLAN traffic can go so now this member can uh, we have to make it as a member of some vlan and we'll make it as member of vlan 
10. So the access ports are the ports which can be member of only one VLAN and the tongue ports are the ports which uh, can be members of multiple VLANs. Now, fast Ethernet 0 slash 3, no shut, switch port mode access, switch port access, this is VLAN 20 and the last port fast ethernet 0 slash 4 uh, here I'll do no shut switch port mode access and switch port access vlan 30 now let's check the vlan membership show vlan okay so these are the three vlans which we created and these are the ports now they have made become became the members of those VLANs. Now, so these three ports, we have made these three ports as the access ports, these three ports as the access ports. Okay, but still this port that is fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 is, uh, is down, we need to make it up and we need to configure this port as trunk port because it is going to carry the traffic of multiple VLANs. So I'll just mention here as trunk port. Let's go on that switch again that interface is fast ethernet 0 slash 1 no shut and switch port mode trunk now I will not specify the VLANs I can specify the specific VLANs uh, but here I won't do it because I need to allow all the ports all the VLANs that is 10 uh, 20 and 30 so I will not do so so it will uh, by default allow the traffic of each and every VLAN now. Now let's move on to the router. Still the interface, this link is down because we need to make this interface up. Uh, do we want to enter no? No. At router end, what is the port? We'll just have a look now. The port is gate 0 slash 0, 0. Now, at router end, what we'll do is go into the configuration mode. The interface on the router is uh, gig 0 slash 0 slash 0. So I need to make that interface up first of all. So I'll go in interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0. I'll do no shut. Okay. I have just made this port up now. Okay. Now this port is going to be up after some time. It is taking some time, but it will be up now. Okay. Basically, you can check here that gig interface gigs zero slash zero slash zero. It is it is showing me up. Okay. So it is up. Line protocol is up. Now, since we have to uh, this this is only one port okay this router's port is only one port and see now this is up this router port that is gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 is a one port and as you know that you know each and every port of a router is a different network but uh, since we need to carry the traffic for these three different vlans uh, we have to configure uh, sub interfaces so that we can uh, we can configure different networks on a single port of the router Okay, so physically there will be one port, but logically there will be three different ports. Uh, that is sub interfaces. So we'll configure the sub interfaces. Let me configure the sub interfaces, and uh, I'll configure the very first interface sub interface as gig zero slash zero slash zero dot one. Okay. Now by default it will be up because we have already made gig zero slash zero slash zero as up. So this is up, and here I need to configure. And I need to give it an IP address. I'll give the IP address to this as uh, the default gateway, which I will be using for VLAN 10 and the subnet marks of slash 24. Okay. Now, yeah, it is telling me to configure the encapsulation also. So I'll also configure the encapsulation. So the encapsulation will be dot one Q. Okay, that is the uh, trunking protocol that is I'm using dot one Q and it is for VLAN 10. So let's just give you a question mark and this is for asking for the VLAN ID and it is for VLAN 
10. Now, similarly, I'll configure. I'll just use the up arrow. The second interface, and I'll give the IP address as 20. Okay, it is also asking for the same thing. So here it will be land 20. When you use the up arrow, it is very useful. And the last interface will be dot three, and the IP address will be 30.0.0.30.0.0.1, because that will be the default gateway of VLAN 30. And again, the encapsulation will be dot one cube, and the allowed VLAN will be 30. Now, or here is what I have done the configuration for inter VLAN communication. Okay, now, but still our routers are not, still our router is not configured as a DSCP server. Now we have to configure our router as a DSCP server. Okay, so for that, you can just check whether any DSCP configuration is there or not. You can give this command show IP DSCP binding, you know, or DSCP uh, pool so that you know you can just come to know whether anything is configured or not so currently there is nothing configured so let's configure three pools for three vlans so i'll configure very first pool so I, uh, the configuration mode and give this command ip dscp pool I have to give a name to that pool so I'll give the name as vlan dscp vlan 10 just press enter now here we need to define the network or the pool. So I'll define uh, the 10 network, which is for VLAN 10. Find this is a network and the default router. Default router will be the gateway for this pool. So the gateway for uh, VLAN 10 is 10.0.0.1. So this is the configuration for this pool. Uh, I'll use uh, the another pool. 20 okay and the network which i'll use is 20 network the pool name is dscp vlan 20 the gateway for uh, default gateway for vlan 20 is 20.0.0.1 the last one that is for vlan 30 we created a pool we'll define the network or the pool and the default gateway will be 30.0.0.1 now guys show IP DSCP pool now here you can see the pool which is created pools which are created you can see the pools okay so this is the pool one which we created DSCP VLAN 10 so these are the total addresses available in this then uh, here's the range also you can see the range also over here this is for dscp vlan 20 the another pool and the last pool which we created at is dscp vlan 30. Uh, now currently you can see this is the command actually guys to see the uh, IP addresses if any computer is assigned an IP address by using this pool or by DSCP on this router then you know we will see the entries in this routers but currently there are no entries because we have not enabled DSCP on our switch on our computers now let's go here currently you can see uh, in IP if you give there is no IP addresses configured for this computer now this is the computer which is a uh, member of VLAN 10 so it is expected that it should get the IP address from the subnet 10.0.0.0/24. Now let's check. Now it is requesting for the IP address. It is sending the um, uh, request message, DSCP message for this. It is getting and uh, you can see here it is not getting an DSCP IP. It is getting an APIP IP. Okay, so it is not getting a DSCP IP, it is getting an APIP IP. So there may be some reasons why you are not getting an DSCP IP for this. Okay, so let's find out what may be the reason why you are not getting an IP address for this. Now, if you check the configurational part, 
on router we'll go again on router we have configured it for three different vlans okay but it is not getting the ip address now the very first step you can check here is your dscp configuration run pipe into dscp now here you can see the three r section circuit i'll just use this keyword section whether it's both or it's not work or packet checker packet tracer let us continue let us check in this way now guys here you can check it is 10.0.0.0 and 255.255 .255. that submit marks is correct the default gateway is also correct let us check the interfaces which we have configured show run again we have to use show run only for this now if you check over here guys i have made a mistake i didn't configure the ip addresses so this is one of the troubleshooting step also so we missed out giving the ip addresses to this interfaces okay so we'll just quickly give the ip addresses to this interfaces Okay, so this interface is as zero slash zero slash zero dot one IP address and dot zero dot zero dot one. Okay, so this interface sub interface is the default gateway for VLAN ten. That is for my PC zero. Now, guys, you may be having a better understanding. Of what is the importance of giving the IP address to the sub interface? I do no need to do no shit. Okay, now. This is what I've given for VLAN 10. Now here is my PC. I'll uh, again I'll make it a static and then again I'll try to give a request. Now, now it is requesting. Here it is something you might have. Yeah. Now here is what our PC has got an IP address from 10's network. It has got an IP address of 10.0.0.2 with the subnet box of slash 24 and the default gateway as 10.0.0.1 now let's check whether we are able to ping the default gateway or not for doing so i'll take the command prompt and i'll ping the default gateway now this is the sub interface of the router yes and we are able to ping now we'll do it same thing for the other interfaces as well yes now let's check whether the other pcs are getting an ip address or not now this is the pc which is member of vlan 20 desktop ip address and tscp it is expected to get an IP address from VLAN 20 and it is got. So that is fine. Now, let's check for VLAN 30 now. It should get an IP address from VLAN 30. It is from network 30. Is requesting? Yes, it is also got an IP address. So guys, in this way, you can configure DSCP or router the DSCP server for uh, multiple VLANs. Uh, and uh, I'll just show you one more thing. Let's check inter VLAN routing is running or not properly. Just cancel this one. Let's go in the command prompt. Let's check PC0, which is in VLAN 10. Currently, this PC2 is in VLAN 30. So we are able to ping from VLAN 30 to VLAN 10. Now let's check pinging VLAN 20 as well. Oh. There's some problem. We're not able to ping. <laughs> yeah, we are able to ping. The first packet got dropped, but later on we were able to ping it. So guys, in this way, uh, we can achieve uh, a DSCP configuration for multiple VLANs by making uh, a router as a DSCP server. So I'll stop in this video here. I tried to show you uh, a bit sort of a troubleshooting part also because uh, I made a mistake sort of thing where uh, I didn't configure uh, the IP address to the sub interfaces and because of which the PCs were getting an API IP that is uh, 
169 uh, from from 169.254 to subnet so if in case your configuration issue with your configuration in dhcp your pcs are going to get a pip ip because they are not able to reach the dhcp server that is their routers they were not having a reachability this pc was not having a reachability to this router and that is the reason why it was getting an api ip so uh, if you want to know about about these nodes also i have this nodes on my blog you can just visit this 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 particular blog and uh, this is my blog okay i'll paste the uh, link for this uh, blog in the description section of this video you can find lot of a uh, lot, lot of things in this blog because i normally post almost daily on this blog so you can find lot of stuff uh, started from the month of march 2020 so you'll find it like a daily post on this blog again you can uh, have a look at the other configurational stuff also i've put it lot of thing like configuration of our routers and dhcp server also you can find where only one vlan is used again you can find a very interesting uh, post which up related to apipa which we now saw so you can just have a look at this also i'll also paste uh, the description in the description section the link for this uh, the what is what is apipa uh, you can you can also find the information regarding related to this also so guys uh, i'll stop in this video here i'll uh, catch up you in the next video with uh, sort of this packet uh, packet tracer labs uh, let me know guys uh, what you think about this packet tracer labs which have started now because till now on my channel i was using gns3 a lot but uh, now i have also been uh, making videos using packet tracer uh, and uh, it is very uh, a, a very sort of uh, many subscribers actually uh, demanded to use packet tracer and show the configuration part on packet tracer also so uh, guys i'll stop here catch up in the next video till then have a nice day and take care